what is up fam welcome to a new video today we're going to be talking about all of my travel must-haves everything that i absolutely need that i travel with every single time i go out of town whether it's just for the weekend vacation um work whatever it is you know um this past weekend actually the last two weekends i was out of town last weekend i went to new york um for a fit crunch summit and then this weekend, me and Ashton went to Houston for Thursday through Sunday, so like the whole weekend. I basically didn't even unpack. I like left all my makeup and toiletries and everything all still together because I was like, well, I'm leaving again. So I thought it was like the perfect time to show you guys my travel must-haves, things that you absolutely need. Um, most of these things I got on Amazon. A lot of them I got on Amazon actually. And they're all pretty affordable, but like will literally change your life. So let's get it started. First things first, <sighs> bags, suitcases, things like that. I'm not really gonna go too much in depth because I feel like everyone has their own like um, style that they prefer, whether it's like a duffel bag, a backpack, um, a carry-on like suitcase type of thing. Me, preferably, I always have a backpack and then if I'm traveling on a plane or weekend, I have my Tumi carry-on and this is actually relatively new this is the camo edition okay and i got it customized with my name on it um i also have the matching backpack which i actually use on a daily basis and then it definitely comes with me when i travel so i used to travel a lot more than i do now and i didn't invest in any to me and i highly regret that because this is the best thing ever now that being said i don't think you should spend that much money on a bag that you're going to check um, so my checked bags, like the bigger ones, are like cheap Marshalls bags. Like, I don't even care because they're going to get destroyed anywhere. But this bag I don't check. I carry on with me so it's not going to get totally destroyed. And since I'm carrying it on with me, it's like way more comfortable being, you know, going through security. Um, just like, it just rolls way better. It's, it's so much more mobile. It's definitely worth the investment. I still would not pay full price for this. This this particular carry-on suitcase, brand new from Tumi, is $650. And the backpack that I have um, runs $495. But I did not pay those prices. In fact, I paid less than half that and got them brand new. The backpack, which, let me go ahead and show you the backpack. Hang on. Okay, so this is my daily backpack. Um, I forget what this particular one is called, but I'll find it on Amazon and I'll link it below. And it matches the roller, slides on with the case, so you can carry it on your back, or you can roll it through the airport like this. Super comfy, sleek looking, I just love the way it looks. So this backpack I got on Amazon for I think $250, $225, which is still a pretty steep price, but I use this on a daily basis, so I was like, it's okay. Um, I needed a good bag that would look good, that would fit my stuff. I like all the compartments and stuff like that. The roller I got on eBay. Yeah, I got it on eBay and I found it brand new with tags still attached for 300 bucks. But um, another really great place to find these roller bags is um, the rack. Neiman Marcus Last Call, you can get them online too, um, but the rack usually has them there. Uh, if you go to Marshalls and TJ Maxx, usually you're not gonna be able to find it to me. Um, so you're gonna wanna go to like one of those higher end like Saks and things like that. Um, but from my experience, the rack has the most to me um, carry-on size bags. They even have the full bigger ones, but like I said, I don't think people should invest in that. I will link the backpack. If I can find this roller, I'll link it down below. I will link it down below as well as well as everything else I'm about to show you. So those are the bags that I usually carry on with me. That was not the whole point of the video. Those are great. They're not super necessary. They do make your life a lot easier, let me tell you that. Moving on to these really important pieces which are definitely way more affordable. So toilet tree bag. Look at this. It's like pink, little cactuses, super cute. Opens up like yay. Can hang it up on the door. It's got another little compartment here in the back that zips up. I got this thing on Amazon. I can't remember. It was like 10, 15 bucks. I actually had it in white, but then my um, my eyeshadow, I put an eyeshadow in here, it exploded and the whole thing got completely ruined. So I ordered it again, but I got the pink one this time and I absolutely love it. It fits everything. 
got dry shampoo, I've got razors, I've got my face cream, shampoo, deodorant, all that stuff. Everything that it, I would hold in my toiletry bag fits in here and it's just like so cute and I feel like you shouldn't spend that much money on a toiletry bag because things like shampoo bottles explode and things like that happen and you don't want to have to be like, oh my god, I spent 200 bucks on this toiletry bag and now it's garbage. So they have a bunch of different styles but the pink with the little cactus was like my favorite. Next up, we have the jewelry organizer. This was a lifesaver. Um, when I travel, I really hate bringing jewelry with me for the sole fact that it's really hard to pack it and usually I would use like old little like t Tiffany's boxes or things that I had like from when I had bought new jewelry, those little boxes they give you, and so I'd come with like 10 little boxes, and that was just so dumb, so annoying. So a lot of times I traveled and I didn't bring jewelry because I just hated packing it. Then I found this guy on Amazon, and I love it. Um, I've already unpacked from this weekend, and I wish that I would have showed you before I unpacked it, but basically it opens up like this. Um, it's got like a little zipper in the middle. Um, you have your little the earring holders, which I still got a couple earrings in there. These are for rings here. You got another compartment here. Um, and then over here you would hang like your necklaces or maybe some bracelets or something. They fit through this little compartment and then hang in here so they don't get tangled. I have not had any problems with bringing like longer necklaces and stuff, um, getting them tangled or ruined or anything like that, so that's cool. Now, I probably have two favorites um, out of this video and I'm about to show you my, my number one. One or two, it's number one. I've actually had this for a while and this is a makeup organizer essentially. Now I only use it when I travel because um, when I'm at home I have like a drawer that I organize all my jewelry. But this is the only bag that I found that actually fits all of my jewelry in one bag, including my large eye palettes. It's extremely great quality. Um, and you can see it comes with straps too. I don't need the straps, um, so I don't ever bring that part. And I have not unpacked this, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So, here we go. We've got makeup brushes up here, and this is like almost every makeup brush I own, so I'm able to bring like a lot of them. And you got a little compartment in here, which I keep little eye, eye lash brushes in there. I get eyelash extensions, so. And then I literally have all of my makeup in here. I've got, I brought three foundations, makeup setting spray, this huge Fenty thing. I've got one, two, three palettes in here. I got a headband, eyeshadows, I mean, you name it, I've got it. Now it comes with these little foam dividers and it has a lot more dividers, but I take them out on this portion so that I can fit all of my bigger products here. This thing is the best thing I've ever bought. It is amazing and I mean, I really don't know why I pack this much makeup, but I do, and it's the only way that I can actually travel with my makeup. It is 100% a must have. Moving on, now, before we move on actually, this comes in a lot of different colors. I almost really wanted it into, the, they had like this light pink rose gold color, but I figured black would be the least dirty option, so I went with black, plus black is life and it matches my jewelry organizer, so I don't know, that's a little enough. But there's other color options. This next thing is new to my travel department here. Um, I actually bought this, what, two weeks ago before my trip. Now, in addition to my makeup organizer, like that's, that's the perfect thing because I can kind of set everything up right in front of me. But when you're in a hotel, it is so hard to find the perfect lighting. It's like everything just looks different and then you have to find a mirror. Like if you find the lighting, then there's like no mirror there. So it was a huge struggle. So I, I've always told myself I need to buy myself like a portable mirror that I can bring to a hotel and do my makeup, but I always forgot. Finally found one and I've actually been using even here at home, um, which is kind of hilarious, but it just offers like the perfect lighting at all times and it's portable. So this part actually comes off. You don't have to have the stand with it, um, but it folds up just like this and then it opens up. Opens up. You push this button and you can either put batteries in it or you can bring the plug. I brought the plug, it doesn't have batteries in it right now, but it's got the two times magnification, regular, and then if you if you push this button here, this lights up. So even if you're doing your makeup in the dark in your hotel room, you can still get on point. For me, it was easier. During the daytime, I was able to go to the window. I like natural lighting the best. I would go to the window, I'd find a place to set my makeup, and then 
like the window faced this way so that I could get the best lighting. But there were times like when I was last week when I was in New York, we got up really early at four, so I had to use the light, and that was perfect. I mean, I don't know how else I would have done my makeup in that hotel room anyway. And it actually came wrapped up in this thing um, in my Amazon box, and I kept it because that way I can just stick it in my suitcase like this, and it's. I feel like it's mostly protected. Um, I don't think it's gonna break if you put it in between your clothes and stuff like that, but just in case, I figure why not keep it like that. Lastly, now this is me like trying to pick the top items, because um, there's a lot more items I could add in here. But I never travel, gosh, every single day of my life, I always have one of these with me, tied to go pen. This is a must have. I actually keep one in my purse, in my backpack, in my travel bags, I always have one of these with me. This is a must, and I usually order from Amazon in like a three pack or something, that's the best deal, that way you can just put them in every bag. Yes, those are my top travel must-haves. Um, I hope you guys found something useful here. I feel like these are just, I mean, if you not count it to me, um, because that's kind of like an investment type thing long term, but if you buy the other pieces, I mean, you're looking at like 50 bucks or less or something like that. It's really not, it's really actually maybe like 60, um, but it will keep you way more organized. Oh my God, I almost forgot. This is actually new to my last two weeks too, and I thought that I would try this. Um, I left it in my suitcase, every unpacked, and I tested it out the last two weeks that I traveled, and it, <laughs> worked out. It worked out very nicely. I wasn't sure exactly how effective it would be at storage and space and stuff, but I finally bought those little like storage packs. So this one I, I got from Amazon and you can pick different colors and stuff. I chose black because it matches my suitcase. But it comes with like six different little compartments. Smaller ones, bigger ones, shoe ones, little dirty clothes bag. This really helps. Um, Cause when you put all your clothes in your suitcase and then you like jumble it around, it all gets like just frazzled and like, it just looks like this like rolled up ball when you get to your destination, right? So I found that one, whenever I got to my destinations, my clothes wasn't all like wrinkled and like thrown around into a huge ball. And two, when I was actually there, I just pulled out my suitcases or my little containers and I knew exactly where everything was. And then for some reason, every time I travel, I have a problem where I go, everything fits, and then I come back and nothing fits. Like, how did I have so much more stuff, right? Well, with the compartments, it kind of helps keep you organized, and so you just piece everything back in. It's like a puzzle. So amazing. Oh my God, game changer. I highly recommend those. I think they're totally worth it. I thought they were kind of stupid at first, but I wanted to give them a try two weeks in a row, and they were de definitely winners, so. That's it. That's my little travel haul for you guys. Mostly all Amazon finds, except for this Toomey roller that I got on eBay. I'll link everything below for you guys. But make sure to thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. And share, please share. It helps the channel grow. I know that I've been MIA from YouTube, um, but the last few weeks have been crazy for me as far as work and stuff goes. And I actually filmed this video. This is the second time I'm filming this video. Filmed it last week when I was in New York and I did not like it. The lighting was not good and I was just like, I gotta redo this video. So this is me just getting back from Houston. Just finished unpacking and I'm filming this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will catch you guys in the next video. See ya next time. Bye.